Hi, this is Nitya, Assistant Professor of English, Kaiser College of Arts and Science for Women, Feminist Writing, Unit 4. Ladies Cube by Anita Noyer. She is the most popular uh, co contemporary Indian novelist, The Better Man, Mistress, Lessons in Forgetting and Ladies Cube. These are all the popular works of Noyer. She is considered as a voice of true feminism in present Indian English literature. Conditions of women in a male-dominated society and search for freedom. These are all the theme concept she discussed in this novel, Ladies Cube. Second, Ladies Cube is a second novel of Noyer and translated nearly 21 languages. It, it, it is compared with Chaucer's Canterbury Tales in that 29 pilgrims, they are telling a story to the journey of uh, St. Thomas' tomb like that. Uh, here six women, they are sharing their own personal story uh, while they are travelling in the place in, in railway compartment. Athilantishwari, who is a protagonist of the novel, called as Akila, she is at the age of 45 and she is a spinster and belongs to a well-orthodox uh, Brahmin family. <clears throat> After her father's death, she has to take care of her family. She take, she take care of all, but no one for her. In certain point of time, she is having a, a what? She is having a frustration in her mind, and uh, okay, we will have a trip like that. She planned to go to the place of Kanyakumari by train. During that time, in a ladies' cube, she met uh, six women. Uh, in, in, during after that, those six women they they are going to share their own personal feelings. Janaki Prapakar, who is the eldest tradition woman in her uh, lifetime. She lived with the shadows of men. Margaret Shanti, so who is a chemistry professor, <clears throat> she loved the man Ebenezer Paul Raj and who is a headmaster of the same school and they got marriage but their marriage became as an unsuccessful one. Prapa Devi, who is a well-cultured woman, even at the, at, the, at the 40th birthday, she Devi realized that even in her lifetime, she does not have own identity even she lived in the uh, shadows of men like that she felt at least hereafter so i have to live for myself like that uh, she took the oath next character sheila she is at the age of 14 very youngest girl among among the women she had a lot of uh, sexual tortures in her young age itself Marie Kolundu, she is at the age of 30, 31. Because of the poverty, she faced a lot of problems in her life. Because she became as an unwed mother, illegitimate uh, child she is having. So she faced a lot of uh, sexual tortures in her life. After Akila heard these stories, she came to uh, she came to one, one decision and she realizes that why we have to give unnecessary power to the patriarchal society. Why can't we take decision in our life? No, no, no. Hereafter, I won't leave it. So I have to take my decision for, for my life. I have to take it like that. Uh, she decided that and she is going to get marry the person Hari. Actually, Hari is a, Hari is a younger man than uh, Akilante Shuri for that uh, she hesitated her to get married the man after uh, she heard these stories okay she come to the conclusions I uh, hereafter I won't bother to the society's opinion so I have to get married the man Hari like that uh, she decided and from the from the fictions what Anita Noyer uh, she's telling it means uh, how women they are suffocated by patriarchal society, how the male chauvinism dominated in the society. So through the characters of these women, Sheila, Marie Kulundu, Akilanteshwari and these six characters, they played a very important role. Each character, they exposed different women suffocations in the male patriarchal society. That's all. Thank you.